I grew up hunting. I grew up with dogs. You know, when I was, was a kid, I had a short hair, and I remembered when I was probably eight or 10 years old, and I'd take Jack, our short hair, and get on my bike, and I had a, a gun stock that I had taped two pieces of conduit together to make an over-under. I just loved it, just loved being around the dogs, watching them learn and interact with the birds. And um, it's something I spend most of my days now just running dogs and, and it's consumed my life. Here. Whoa. All right. When you see Amos just punching into cover, just rolling two, three, four hundred yards, and all of a sudden, you listen for that bell, ding, 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 all of a sudden, boom. Bell stops, and I'll give him a, hey, what you got? When you don't hear anything, it's like party on, and then you walk up and you see him just bowed up all proud. And a lot of people probably don't get to experience that, and anyone I hunt with, they'll they'll see that and be like, dang, like that's, that's freaking cool. You don't even have to be a bird dog guy to appreciate it. it. He's a old time upland bird dog and that's what he's built for and, and that's what he's good at. Amos. If I didn't own bird dogs, I'd probably be like really rich and retired. But for some reason, I gotta have dogs. I spend almost every last dime that's I have right. just to go follow them. All right, let's go. They're, they're my buddies, like we are, we're a team in the woods. I couldn't do it with them, they couldn't do it without me. See them develop and see them learn and connect the dots. It's so interesting, so much fun to watch them. You make those connections and then, you know, as I grow as a hunter and a, and a trainer, like watching them and, you, I mean, you can see whether it's for good or bad, my fingerprints on all of my dogs and yeah, I, uh, I love every second of it. I wouldn't trade it for the world.